thanks for tuning in. I wanted to have something different for brunch today and I decided to make a drop miso soup. Yummy! So the ingredients are simple. I searched high and low for the easiest recipe on the net and I felt that this was the easiest and um, I'll demonstrate it here. It goes like this. Four cups of water, three tablespoons of miso, two teaspoons of dashi granules, four eggs, and two green onions. And then we have the option, of course, of tofu or green leafy vegetables, okay? So four cups of water. I'm just gonna go ahead and get this started here. And I have a surprise for you. I'm gonna make egg drop miso soup and also poached egg miso soup. They're both so delicious and they both pack a lot of protein. So four cups of water already in here, three tablespoons of miso. So this is miso, miso paste, and you can find it at any Asian store. I like the mild miso, 30% less sodium. So it's basically a soybean paste. All right. And this, these last long. So I just bought this and it lasts until 2021. So even though it seems like a big bottle with a lot of miso, you can use it up really quick. All right, so three tablespoons miso. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of pan the Pan it over here for you to see. Okay, that's put three in there and then I'll put three in here. Three tablespoons in the second pot. Okay, two teaspoons dashi granules. So this is what dashi granules are, okay, it can be found at any Japanese or Asian store, and it looks like yeast. It has a distinct look, it looks like yeast, but what they really are is bonito fish pellets, so it's called Hondashi bonito soup stock. Okay, so go ahead and put two tablespoons of that in each. I mean, sorry, two teaspoons, dashi granules. Okay, so two teaspoons. So I am going to go ahead and start mixing them around. Water is already boiling here. So like I said, some of the other misos um, required a lot of ingredients, so some of them were hard to get, like um, kombu to make the stock kind of with the seaweed taste. So I just felt like this one was very, fairly simple. So four cups water, three tablespoons of miso each pot, two teaspoons dashi granules each pot. And of course, um, when this starts getting going, we're gonna um, add the eggs. I'm gonna do one one, four eggs in one and four eggs in the other. One's gonna be egg drop and one is gonna be poach. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the egg drop one ready. And go ahead and scramble these four eggs. Okay, so I'm going to slowly add in the 
egg. And you could already see that it's cooking. So moving it around in circular motion gives it that classic flower look. Your egg drop soup. So additional ingredients that are optional of course is tofu and um, green onion and green leafy vegetables. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. And I'm going to go ahead and put some green onions in it. And I also had some Spinach, so I'm gonna go ahead and put some spinach in that too. So this is Organic Girl Baby Spinach. So just in a, a way to get the greens in. Okay, so I'm gonna tend to this one here. So I'm going to bring an up close picture of the classic miso soup that you see at the restaurants. And you can make this at home so fast. You don't have to go out to a restaurant to get this. And it's a very, very familiar appearance. And you can of course put your tofu. That's what usually is in it. Um, but I don't have tofu today. And then you can put green onions in it too. So. I can opt to put in the green onions now. Is it an extra kick? So if you didn't want to put tofu or egg in it, you could definitely just eat it like this. This is decent too. There you go, miso soup. And you can make so much for a fraction of the cost. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put in the egg to make poached egg soup. So you just drop it in and just let it sit and cook. So we got the egg. So each egg is about seven count protein for each egg. So that is awesome for, um, you know, trying to get your protein in for the day. And this mild miso, let's see what it says regarding protein. So per serving, which is one teaspoon, it's one in carbohydrate. And then for protein, it's one. So one and one. So for one teaspoon, one carbohydrate, and one protein, one gram of protein. So let's see, I added, I'm gonna do my math here, three tablespoons of miso. So three tablespoons of miso, so one tablespoon equals three teaspoons. Okay, so one tablespoon <laughs> equals three teaspoons. So that's three and then another three, and another three. So that, if I'm correct, 
That is nine grams of protein in one serving of uh, pot, one serving pot that I just made here. Plus, if you're gonna eat the whole thing, that's four um, eggs, and so that's seven times four is 28, 29, 30, 37, close to 40 grams of protein. So that's kind of good. I hope I did the math right on that. I'll go back and calculate it later. <laughs> But um, this one is coming along well. Just pan back right to it again. Okay, so I'm going to just do a close up of the egg drop soup to you. So egg drop soup. Doesn't that look healthy and delicious? So yummy. Yay. Okay, so the next one, I'll just go ahead and see if I can put some in here for a close up. a close-up of poached egg miso soup. Doesn't that look yummy? All right. Well, that was a kind of relatively short video, which is actually awesome because mine seemed to run into about 15 to 20 minutes. So let me just show you the final product. This is poached egg miso soup, so yummy. And egg drop miso soup. All right, well thank you for listening. I hope you try this one day and let me know down in the comments what you think. Take care.